you do not want to be a loser. You want to be a winner. And if you want to be a winner, you need to practice success habits. Okay. You need to do the things that successful people do so that you can be successful. Like success leaves clues. Welcome to the Bullseye Hustle Show. Learn how to make more money, create more momentum, and discover more meaning in life while hitting your goals every time with better accuracy and precision. Now, here's your host, Damian Martinez. What's up? <laughs> it's your boy Damian, and welcome to the Bullseye Hustle Show. So we are hitting right now part two of uh, the episode in the podcast series called Uncovering the Top Nine Secrets of Successful People, okay? And so I studied, I studied successful people, wealthy people, people who are high, high producers, high achievers. And there's obviously a lot more than nine success tips and strategies um, that are out there. But these seem to be the top nine most common uh, between people who are making millions and billions, right? I mean, this is a bullseye hustle show. We focus on money. We focus on momentum. We focus on meaning in life. But in today's episode, while we're intertwining all three, I want to highlight a little bit more on the money part because that's why you're here, you know, and also because when, when, I, when you study, you know, the rich and the wealthy, they have a lot of these common practices in place. And so we, we uh, talked about four of them already. So number one, let me, let me review like the first four in like 30 seconds, and then we're going to get to part two with the remaining five. All right. Uh, we talked about number one, success habit or success secret number one. Start your mornings off with silence. Number two, plan your day. Number three, create success habits daily. Number four, control your inner circle of influence. If you didn't watch that episode or hear it, go back and check it out. It was awesome. It was fire. And a uh, lot of references there as well that supports each point. Let's get right into part two. All right. Num part two, number five, let's do this. So success habits, success tip number five, success strategy, success secret, all success, whatever, okay, is what, what these people do. Successful people set goals, dreams, and then they chase them, right? And that's important, that last part, they chase them. Because a lot of people have these dreams and have these things that they want to do and aspire to, and they've been holding on to it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, but they never actually go out and chase them. So chasing your dream actually takes some boldness and it takes action. And so if you go to um, on Franklin Covey's website, um, there's a course, there's actually a very popular book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. And as you'll see here and you know on, on the blog here, once again, all the references I have will be posted on the blog. So you can go to bullseyehustle.com or damienmartinez.com, check it out there. Um, but when it comes down to this, he talks about the 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 seven habits of highly effective people. Habit number two talks about begin with the end in mind. And so beginning with the end in mind is based on imagination, the ability to envision in your mind what you cannot at the present see with your eyes. It's based on the principle that all things are created twice. So think about it like this, like, like when I talked about in my last episode, like I had a, I had a goal in mind of losing like my first 60 pounds in the matter of like literally um, three to four months, you know, before, before the holidays hit, and I was focused. That started in August. I was focused. I did what I needed to do. I chased that dream. I chased that goal and I achieved it. And I, and, and I succeeded, you know, that is, that is what they mean is by having the end in mind. So when you have the end in mind, instead of just having the goal and having the dream, think about what does that dream look like fulfilled? What does that goal look like fulfilled? That's what's important. Okay. When you start understanding the end result, then you can start reverse engineering how you're going to get there. So if this is where you want to be, think about what that end looks like for you. And obviously, is it, not, is it the end? No, that's the end of that chapter, that part, because from that, from that end, it's going to evolve and grow into something even bigger and better should you aspire to do that, which I believe you would. But whatever that first initial end result looks like, reverse engineer what it looks like to get to that part. All the steps is, is going to take the time commitment what you're going to have to do, who you're going to be in contact with, et cetera. All right. So that's number five is set goals, chase dreams or set goals, dreams and chase them. That's what successful people do. That is one of the success secrets that that literally all these people have in common. OK, number six success secret is have multiple streams of income. This is so key because 
on, on, on there's an article on, on Forbes about the benefits of having multiple sources of income as an entrepreneur. And I will tell you the number one reason why we want to have why you want to have multiple streams of income is to achieve financial independence, okay, and achieve it even faster, right? Because we all, I haven't talked to anyone who, well, maybe like two or three people, but even then they like doing stuff locally. Like a lot, everybody wants to travel. Everybody wants to ex have experiences. Everybody wants to enjoy life. There's nothing wrong with that. Like we're made for that. We're made to see new things. And even if you don't like traveling on planes or you don't want to go on a boat or on a cruise, still even traveling locally, like people want to explore the world. That's, I mean, we, we're made for that, you know? And so when you have multiple streams of income though, you get to achieve that financial independence faster. And more than anything, it also gives you a greater sense of stability and safety. And when you have multiple streams of income, you can also scale other things faster, right? You can build faster, you can build stronger, you can build better when it comes to new companies, new business, new ventures, new ideas, et cetera. So having multiple streams of income is a huge success secret between the rich and the wealthy, okay? Number seven is being a giver. It's it, this is always interesting because you know there's there's a, a specific verse that I like to read, but it says you know it's, it's better to give than to receive. And don't get me wrong, like we all like receiving gifts, right? There's a lot of people, you know, when you study the five love languages, like you know, uh, receiving gifts is you know high on a lot of people's radar, you know, on, on their love language. But you know, when I read that and when I think about that specific you know saying, you know, it's better to give than to receive. You know, and you see this with the rich, you see this with the wealthy, you see this with just successful people, they're givers. Why? Because it promotes positive values. You know, it's, it's because you get to see the enthusiasm of the other person who's actually receiving what you're giving them. You know, it's, the, it's being grateful that you were able to make someone else's day, make them happy, make them smile, bring some joy into their life. You know, you're spreading that love. And it, and it really is like, it, it, and it even helps why, why it's so important to be a giver, even on a personal level. It, it helps with your mental health. Like, you don't want to just be selfish and just think me, 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 me. Like, we already live like that on, on so many, in so many ways. But when you're, when you're able to give back to someone who maybe can't give back to you, or just simply you're giving, you're, you're just being a giver because you just want to practice that success habit, that, that, that success secret, you're going to realize real quick that when you give, like things come back to you, you know, like whether it's networking, relationships, people, resources, money, whatever. And it's not, it's, and you're not giving to get those things. That's just a law. It's kind of like a universal law that just, it, it is what it is. Kind of like gravity. If I just jump out the window, I can have all the happy thoughts I want. I'm not Peter Pan. That happy thought, Peter. You know, I'm going to hit that ground hard, but that, you know, gravity is a law, at least here on earth, you know, where we're at in this plane. <laughs> so this is a law. Like when you give, like it's better to give than to receive, but when you give, you get, you know, um, but don't, don't give to get. So anyways, don't want to go on a, on a rabbit hole there, but that's, that's success secret. Number seven, I probably should have said that different because success secret, it's like the whole Sally sells, she sells by the seashore. Like I probably jacked that up anyways too, but sell seashells by the seashore. Sell seashells by the seashore. Sell anyways, success secret number eight is this being a lifelong learner. All right. This is so key. You go to lifehack.org, they have an awesome article about um, 12 powerful habits of people dedicated to lifelong learning and what does that look like. And so if you want to be a lifelong learner, if you want to be successful, you're gonna to want to be a lifelong learner. And here's why. Being a lifelong learner will help you come into new opportunities, into new environments and situations you would have never thought, dreamed, or imagined of, okay? You know, being a lifelong learner means you're a continuous learner, it means you're a reader, it means you're a listener, okay? It means that you're open to new ideas that you don't know at all. And even what you do know, maybe you can get better at and sharpen that sword even a little bit more, you know? So to be a lifelong learner, there's a few things you need to do to be a lifelong learner. You know, you need to read on a consistent basis, whether that's daily or weekly, you need to be reading. Does, it could be a book, it could be a blog article, it could be listening to podcasts like this, et cetera. But you need to be, well, yeah, reading blogs and articles, you know, listening, et cetera. That's what you want to do. That's, that's a way to practice that so that you are always 
a learner. Like every time I talk to some of my business mentors, as they keep growing their businesses, like they're always telling me new things that they're learning, new things that they read, documentaries that they're watching. Why is that so important? Because you want to learn because you might find a gold nugget here or there that you can utilize in your business to help 10 exit. You just never know. So, so reading consistently, you know, attending different types of courses, um, you know, actively seeking opportunities to grow. You know, the reason one, one reason I started this podcast was to help myself grow my professional career and also to make an impact on others like people like you, like you listening, you know? And so, um, you know, being a lifelong learner also helps you create new passions in life, you know, diversify your passions. And, and so when you start seeing, you know, the power of just being a lifelong learner, it helps you see new opportunities, it helps you start to advance in ways you haven't advanced before. So if you want to be successful, you want to be a lifelong learner. OK, that's that's number eight. And to end and to end it. Number nine, before we get into that, let me just review the last eight real quick. Last episode, we already hit these four. I'm just going to repeat them one more time. But number one, success, ha- success secret. Number one, start your mornings off with silence. Number two, plan your day. Number three, create success habits daily. Number four, control your inner circle of influence. And on today's episode, number five, set goals, dreams, and chase them. That's important. Number six, have multiple streams of income. Number seven, be a giver. Number eight, be a lifelong learner. And last but, not, last but not least, number nine, practice daily self-care. So what does that mean? Self-care is simple. It's moving your body through exercise, grow your mind, you know, feed your soul and spirit. You know, on psychologytoday.com, they have a great article on 12 ways to take better care of yourself. And so part of that could be, you know, exercising daily. You know, maybe you don't like exercise right now. Maybe you're not into it. How about just taking a quick 15 minute walk outside, and letting the sun hit your body? You know, that's that's so important for you for mental health, mental growth to just, you know, use that time to just take care of your body, get the blood flowing early. OK, um, makes, you know, prioritizing sleep, making sure you're getting at least your minimum six to seven hours, you know, because sleep is key to to be effective, to be productive. You know, that's that's key when it comes to self-care eating right, right? Not just going out and eating fast food or eating out all the time, like actually eating healthy, eating your meats, eating, um, you know, specific vegetables, depending on, you know, what you're allergic to or not. Um, You know, and with self-care, it's also about learning how to say yes, also learning how to say no, right? And so, and what I mean by that is sometimes um, we, we say no to opportunities we say we should say yes to, and then there's times where, you know, to, we need to protect our boundaries because we're planning our day, protect your time, you know, your me time. There's going to be times you just need to say no. And so you just got to learn how to practice both more. So if you're a yes person where you just say yes to everyone, you, you need to start learning how to say no. And if you're one to kind of like skip out and flake on people all the time, then you got to learn how to just stick to your commitments and say yes. There's, there's reasons why those two extremes, why people fail and they're not as successful as they need to, okay? And so that's part of self-care. Part of self-care too is taking a trip, you know? You know, uh, going somewhere, visiting a new environment, a new place, you know, enjoying, you know, eating out at that new restaurant. Um, self-care could also be just getting outside. I mean, even earlier today, you know, before I shot the podcast, I went out to the, you know, by my pool and I was just sunbathing for 20 minutes letting, letting, letting that sun hit me. That South Florida sunshine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's so important for your body. Uh, and so self-care is key. And that's a big habit of successful people. And so just to recap, the reason why I wanted to touch on uncovering the top nine secrets of successful people is because you want to be successful. I've never met someone that says, oh, I, I, I like being a loser. Like, <laughs> that's not what happens in life. Like, you do not want to be a loser. You want to be a winner. And if you want to be a winner, you need to practice success habits, okay? You need to do the things that successful people do so that you can be successful. Like, success leaves clues. And if you follow those clues, then guess guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be successful because you're actually gonna take the action that's needed in order to do what you need to do and accomplish your dreams, chase your goals, et cetera. With that being said, thanks for watching this episode, taking a listen. You know, make sure you leave a, a, a review. 
Um, follow us on Spotify and YouTube. Um, this is Damien, and this is the Bulldog House Show. See you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the show, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. To catch all the latest from the Bullseye Hustle Show, give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter at Bullseye Hustle and follow us on Spotify at the Bullseye Hustle Show. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.